Over the last seven years or so here on the channel, we've taken a look at a few different tactical pins. The last time was a few years ago when I actually asked the question, is it stupid to carry a tactical pin? And I got a lot of, a lot of comments about that, a lot, a, lot of, a lot of topics were brought up. So what I thought I'd do in this video is, I'm gonna readdress the, the subject. We're gonna try to uh, give you my take on some of the comments that have come up over the years on that particular video and take a look at my latest tactical pin that I'm carrying every single day from the folks at Gerber Gear. This is the Ger Gerber Impromptu Tactical Pin and it is made in the USA. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me. So, as I said, um, we're going to take a look at tactical pins and another look at tactical pins in this video and try to answer some of the questions and comments that I got on the, my, the late, last video, which again was a couple, two or three years ago. And the folks at Gerber were kind enough to send me one of their impromptu tactical pins to check out. And I've been carrying this and using this for a couple of months now, so I've got a little bit of, little bit of track record with it. And I'm going to do my best in this video to uh, try to um, maybe do a better job of some people have given me some criticisms, which I've tried to take to heart. I said I speak a little too fast, I'm trying to talk a little slower, and I wave stuff around too much where you can't see it. So I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna try to stop that too. But we're gonna talk about this pen, but we're also gonna talk about why, um, again, why I think it's still, I still think it's a good idea to carry some sort of quote, tactical pin. And we're going to do that right after this word from today's sponsor. And that's the folks at Acre Gold. And we've taken a look at Acre Gold before, but um, this is what uh, Acre Gold will send you if you become a member. And the way that works is they're a subscription service. So for either $30 a month or $50 a month, you can open up an account. When you get to the uh, amount in your account, which is sufficient to purchase one 2.5 gram bar of gold they will send it to you so it's not some kind of a virtual gold account where you've got gold that you've never seen it's not um, it's not something that's um, imaginary you get real honest to goodness 24 karat pure gold sent to your mailbox and it comes in a very comes in a very nondescript package nobody can it doesn't say gold all over or anything like that and uh, I, I like that for a couple of reasons first of all an ounce of gold is like 1800 bucks 1900 bucks right now so if you don't have 18 or 1900 bucks 2000 bucks who knows what it is while i'm making this video um just just to, to dump it one time this is the way you can save a little bit you know a little bit of money at a time and get yourself some gold which is um since there's been human history there's been it's had value so the other thing i like about it is that it is a small small 2.5 gram bar so uh, the value of this is going to be whatever 2.5 grams is at the time of this video it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 bucks give or take a few bucks depending on what the, what the goal is doing today so it's a lot easier to uh, spend 200 bucks if things really go crazy and you're actually spending gold than it is 2,000 bucks so I like that too by the way Acre Gold is not just a sponsor I'm also a subscriber have been for a few months in fact I am I've got to be like that close to getting my next bar so anyway there'll be a link in the video description below where you can go check out Acre Gold for yourself so now let's talk about tactical pins first of all let's just talk about this pin and I'm probably gonna take you down take you down to the old uh, my impromptu tabletop here and let you see some close-ups but we'll talk about uh, the specs of this I'll, I'll use it a little bit and along the way I'll tell you again why I think it's still a really good idea to have some sort of tactical type pin and I'm gonna try to do that with a minimal amount of rambling <laughs> so bear with me I'll do my best okay so here is the Gerber impromptu tactical pin and just hold it up here we can see it um, as you can see by the way there's a little bit of wear on the side of the pocket clip already I've been using this thing in my pocket daily for a couple of months now but let's talk about the specs of this thing and then I'll show you how well it writes and then we'll along the way we'll talk about the uh, you know the, the I guess the basics about why I think tactical pins a good idea so the length on this is five and five eighths inches and it weighs 2.4 ounces so it's a, it's a reasonably hefty pin and that's because it's made out of rugged machine steel with a Cerakote finish. The pocket clip is stainless steel and then it has an integrated glass breaker tip. And let me just show you that real close up there. So it, it kind of sticks out the side there and there's a push button design. So when you push the button, 
the, the, the uh, ink pen comes out. You can see it sticks out past the glass breaker. So the glass breaker has not got given me any issues as far as riding goes. And the glass breaker is tempered steel. So if you need to get out of a vehicle or whatever, it's really handy to have this in your pocket. And then the, the ink cartridge is a right in the rain ink cartridge, which is pressurized, writes in all weather conditions and upside down or anything else. And I'll show you that. And it writes really well, by the way. And then something I like about this, it's got a push button. Uh, again, this one is made in the USA, has a limited lifetime warranty. And the price on this thing is about 73 bucks, not about, it is 73 bucks from Gerber, but it's about 66 to 72 bucks on Amazon. It's got some nice, nice knurling here and then some uh, three flats here and the pocket clip sits on those flats. So it actually gives it a little bit of a, a recess here so it really does, uh, it, it stays in your pocket very, very well. So it's got enough tension on it. You don't have to worry about it falling out of your pocket. So there's that. So let's see how well it writes because it is a pen and that's going to be the primary use for it. So first of all, let me just uh, try to write this upside down and show you just regular writing first. <laughs> How's that? Can you read that? Okay. But what about upside down? I don't know if I can write upside down, but we'll, we'll try and see. Let's try this. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Draws pretty good. You can see it writes well. Now, how about if it gets wet? Got a little water here. Let's try it now. So, yep, it works. Chug Norris doesn't call the wrong number. You answer the wrong phone. Okay, well that's the specs and details of this Gerber Impromptu tactical pen. And hopefully I didn't wobble it around too much and you could see the details and get, a, get an idea of what it looks like. So let's talk real quickly now, and I promise I'm going to do my best not to ramble uh, any more than I already am. Let's talk real quickly right now about some of the comments I received on the last video I did about tactical pens. Why I think tactical pens are still a good idea. And why, by the way, this is absolutely the favorite of all the tactical pens I have ever used. So as far as the comments go, a couple of the comments I got were, first of all, this is silly. Why do you need, that's not going to be a weapon. Why would you want to use this for a weapon? Look, let's be, be completely real, first of all. I'm not bringing a pen to a gunfight, but it's good to have a non-lethal option because some, every situation does not call for a lethal response. And in fact, um, in many situations, a lethal response is totally unjustified and will land you in prison. But some situations do call for, for, for maybe a little extra, uh, extra help. I know that, um, as I said in the last video, I'd much rather um, use this than this because these are tools these are how i earn my living um, and i don't want to break this so that being said this is going to be a force multiplier because it's going to it's going to concentrate all that force into one little tiny area so it's going to it's going to do a lot more inflict a lot more pain than probably this if you i mean you, you poke somebody in the chest with this it's going to get their attention so that's number one i do think it is a viable um, secondary self-defense weapon, non-lethal. Uh, number two, uh, one, of the, one of the things I said was that I'd rather use my own pen than one of those pens with a flower on top sticking in a jar somewhere that everybody and their brother has picked up and grabbed and, and signed something with. And invariably, I got a lot of comments like, I'm just walking around paranoid. What about this? What about that? Well, based on the way things are in our world today, I think some people may rethink that situation. And you might agree with me that, yeah, I would rather use the pen that's been in my pocket than the one that's been in everybody else's hands. And I don't even know if they wash their hands. Okay. So those two things are really the two biggest criticisms I got on that video about um, using a tactical pen. Um, the third one is maybe that, you know, it's not gonna be TSA approved because TSA has already is gone to, to stopping these things because they consider them weapons. and. Maybe that's true. I don't know, but I don't go through TSA every day. Um, I, I, I have to sign stuff all the time. So anyway, that's kind of the three things that um, really came up the most in the comments. And so I th thought I would address those. Now let's talk about why I think this is my favorite tactical pin ever. So first of all, I like that it has that glass breaker on it. I think that's uh, one more function that's handy to have if you're trapped in a car from an accident or maybe somebody else is trapped in a car and you need to get them out. Um, that'll break that glass. I have no doubt about it. And a little tip about breaking glass, especially in automobiles, you know, windshields, side windshields or whatever. 
Uh, you see on the movies all the time, people come up and hit the, hit the windows in the middle and they break. Yeah, that's probably not as easy as it looks in Hollywood. Um, in fact, what happens a lot of times is if you hit in the middle of the window, it's got enough give to it and flex to it, it absorbs the blow and really won't break. If you want to be sure and break them and break them quickly, you want to hit it at the corner, typically the, the bottom corner where, where it's, um, it comes to a sharp 90 degree turn because um, it hit it really close to there because it's, there's no room for it to flex there, so it's going to have a lot better chance of breaking immediately. So that's just a tip for you. I hope you didn't ever need to know that, actually. So I like that. I also like this push button here. Um, and a couple things I like about that. First of all, a lot of the other tactical pins have got screw off caps. So you have to unscrew them and then you got to screw them back on here or just try to stick them on there with friction and sometimes they fall off. But every time you, you want to sign something, you got to take it out, you got to unscrew it, you got to do this. That's a problem. Then you got to screw it back on. That's just a process that you don't have to go through if you can just click the button like a regular pin. The other thing I like about this button is it's got enough tension on it where it's not just going to, you got you to push it down and it clicks positively. And well, I had one other one with a push button on it and it kept the button, was, the spring was so weak in this button that it just kept getting pushed down enough to, for, the, for the tip to come out and it would hit my clothes and leave a big ink spot there. Uh, I've been carrying this one for two months, no ink spots. So that's a good thing too. And finally, I like that it's big enough. If you do have to uh, use it like a hammer strike, you know, and hold it with your thumb there. I can't tell you how many of these pins that are, that are calling themselves tactical pins I've seen that are pointed on both ends. So you put your thumb on that, on, on that end and it's going to poke a hole in your thumb if you have to use it. So not a good thing because if you do it like that, it's, it's chances of sliding through. You want to put your thumb behind it. So um, I like that a lot. I like the way that pocket clip's got a little recess right there. It hooks on good and it just, it writes good. It feels good. It's not too heavy. I like that it's made out of steel. I like, I like this pen. Did I say that already? Anyway, so that's why this is my favorite and why it's been in my pocket every day for two months. And that's really why I think um, carrying a tactical pen is, is a good idea. You know, you might be able to, you might need to break a window. You might need to, you know, poke somebody to defend yourself. And uh, you can carry that open carry, by the way, nobody's going to say anything. So anyway, that's it. Um, I promised I wasn't going to ramble. I've probably already been rambling. I'm going to try to wrap this up now. I, um, I still think it's a good idea. And if you're going to carry one, I think, why not carry one that's made in the USA? So that is the Gerber Impromptu Tactical Pen. Thanks again to the folks at Gerber for sending me this so I could show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival On Purpose. And if you like the content you see here and you'd like to stay in touch, I'd like to invite you to sign up for my weekly email newsletter at survivalonpurpose.com slash subscribe. The way things are going these days, you just never know when YouTube is going to decide to pull the plug on anybody they don't like and maybe they don't like me and if you like the content you like the things you're seeing here and you want to stay stay in touch um that's 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 the way we can we can um kind of stay in touch outside of the social media sphere and i'll send you every week i'll send you an email with uh any news i think is important any deals or offers or, or anything like that and it gives us a way to stay to stay in communication if um other than every week if something really crazy goes down so anyway um, that's survivalonpurpose.com slash subscribe. I really appreciate the support once again. My name's Brian. You are watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.